Reflecting Meaning with Gina Coe and Sandra Collins. So Gina, I've been thinking this week about how every spring I get to this place and I'm looking forward to gardening and we have all these plants about gardening and then my spouse Glow ends up doing most of the gardening because I'm into some pre-course project that has to be done and so yeah I'm just feeling like wow this happens over and over and over again and somehow I can't find my way out of this pattern. Mm. Have you spent some time thinking about this in the past since spring has started, Sandra? What micro skill was that? Clarifying. Yeah, I think I've been reflecting back on, okay, so the spring before this and the spring before that, and what's sort of the common themes and what emerges for me and, um, yeah, how is it that I can't kind of, I know this is coming and I know this is that I want to be outside and I want to be gardening. And so how do I get myself to this place always where uh, I'm not doing that? When you say, how do I get myself to this place always? What's the hardest part about this? What micro skill was that? Questioning. Well, I think there's two pieces to it. One is that I I um, was interacting with a colleague by email this week, and I and she had a really good laugh at me saying I was minimally helpful in gardening, <laughs> and because she, she wasn't sure if it meant that I knew nothing about gardening or I didn't have any time for gardening. So it's not that I know nothing; it's just that I don't have time. And we have a big garden and we have a greenhouse and it takes a lot of time in the spring to do all of the planting and transplanting. And so I, I think it's both, I feel like I'm letting my spouse down by not actively participating in this. And then by default, it falls to her. And then I feel like I'm also letting myself down because this isn't how I want to be. I want to be spending my time doing that. And it's really meaningful to me. So mm -hmm. both of those things. Sandra, it sounds like on the one hand, you have these responsibilities, you're a faculty member, you need to get things done. On the other hand, you're torn because you're not able to have enough time to be outside, be with Glow and do the gardening that you both enjoy doing. What micro skill was that? reflecting meaning hmm. and it kind of you know then I start to think well how important is it really to me if I if I can never kind of navigate my life to bring that priority to the top then does it mean it isn't that important to me or you know am I just making excuses for why it happens every year hmm. I don't know it's yeah so I've been thinking about it from a you know, is this really a core value for me? Um, or is it not? So it, is it mostly the time that you're not, you don't have that makes you question whether it's a core value for you? What micro skill was that? Clarifying. Well, I think it's partly that, um, well, you know me, you know, I'm not actually very good at doing a half job at something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish that I was better at that. Um, so uh, my mind, it's a battle sometimes within my mind because I see possibilities and I'm creative and I want to do a good job at things. Um, and yet that takes me down a path of demanding quite a bit of my time um, and so and the garden is also part of that creativity and um, you know pulls on that piece of myself but somehow I don't seem to be able to sway the investment um, away from the work related things and maybe that's because they always feel more press pressing I don't know but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it seems like it's important to, to have more insight about that, to know a bit more how come the work part is 
uh, it, 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 I spend more time doing that. Whereas this other aspect of my life is also important. And I, every year after year, I leave it kind of to glow. What micro skill was that? Reflecting meaning. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that's part of yeah, I think you've hit something there that it's partly about trying to figure myself out, you know, so that's where the insight comes in. So, you know, do I yeah, is it is it just legitimate that until I retire I have these demands and because I'm responsible for spring courses every year that that's just going to be a busy time. Um, or um, is there a way for me to reset my commitments to align with my values? Because I, I do feel like this is a core value, although I started out questioning that, but I do think it is a core value for me to spend that time and be in the earth and be with glow and be growing things. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I guess, trying to figure out what the barriers are to that mm -hmm. and if I can change them. And, and, and the fact that you brought it up today, Sandra, and now that we've talked for a few minutes and, and you settled on, it is a core value for me, right? And it solidified that. What micro skill was that? Summarizing. Next time we come back, we can we can explore that core value more and how to invite more more time, more intention in being outside with glow. That sounds beautiful. You being in the earth and being in nature. What micro skill was that? Providing transparency. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a. I think that would be a good place to go because it does seem like. It does seem like I am more clear than I thought on what the value is. It's really about how I um, make that value transparent in my way of being in my life. Mm -hmm.